Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I'm going to do another multi pick review for you. And this is their multi pick superset training cylinder. And yeah, it's just so nice when you get some multi pick stuff because you know they're premium products and you get to just have a look at something which is made and designed with care and attention and then presented in a really nice, appealing way. It just makes you feel like you've you know spent some money on a, a really nice piece of equipment. Just look at this when I slide that back. Just so nicely presented. Um, when you look at the box, of course, it tells you on the back that there's a, a 30 by 30 millimeter cylinder in there. It's got a key and an Allen key and an adjusting screw, but it doesn't really do it justice. When you actually look at it, it's just so nicely packaged and it comes with a little bit more than it says on the packet. What does it come with? Well, let's be honest, your eyes are looking straight at this training cylinder, aren't they? At least mine were when I opened that packet for the first time. And it is a real thing of beauty. Um, it's milled absolutely beautifully. A very nice, high quality, shiny lock. You can probably see my fingerprints on it from uh, before when I was playing with it. Um, and yes, look at these chambers. Everything in there is really nice and clear. Uh, it seems like it's almost like polish on the inside is so nice when you look it's got a bevel on the edges as well that certainly helps you um, in terms of it not feeling rough but also it sort of widens the aperture here so that you get more light down to those chambers so you can really see what you're doing what's really nice touch and I didn't expect this I have to say is that it's a known lock brand BKS makes some wonderful locks and they really do have some high tolerances in their manufacturing so you know you're going to get a quality cylinder here that's going to make picking just that little bit more challenging and I think that's a good thing because this is a training cylinder this hex key comes in to the kit so that you can actually gut the chambers without having to mess around with removing circlips and following out um, the, the plug and all that kind of stuff you can just undo your hex screws at the top carefully remove the spring and driver and I guess the keeping if you wish and then load it up with whatever uh, pins you like from the kit and there's a whole box of them here and give yourself another challenge so you know a little kit like this could keep you going for weeks months years even when you're learning especially these paracentric keyways it can be really useful to also do progressive pinning where you might put a pin in chambers one and two or maybe one two and three to begin with maybe standard pins, then work your way up to uh, something a bit more challenging with spools and, and, and the such like. So, you know, you can just do one or two chambers, three or four chambers, work your way up to five, and then you'll have a lot more confidence. And that goes for any sort of pinning. So you might do the same with standard pins, then maybe spools, and then, you know, whatever else you wish. Just looking at this setup at the moment though, so you can see that you have tapered key pins so these are going to be a bit of a challenge because they are designed to overset very easily catch at the shear line um, where's the key it does work with the current setup so you can see either side there we go very nice and then you have um, in chambers one two it's the same mirrored both sides um, spools in one and two and this looks like a steel anti-drill spool but it makes no difference really to picking then a standard pin in chamber three then these little sort of T pins uh, which are really cool again and just catch at the shear line um, not too dissimilar to the way that tapered pins do in four and five like I said it's the same both ways in terms of the the standard bitting it comes with that's a challenge in itself I'd say that is that's no easy bitting and th this is sort of straight out of the box in fact this is, isn't going to be a particularly easy pick straight out of the, the pack either and I you know I like that nice bit of thought going into the design of this lock um, this is a nice addition as well <laughs> um, I didn't expect this to be in here but this is the actual screw so if you put this into an actual door um, if you're going to use a euro cylinder they all come with screws like this and that screws in from uh, the edge of the door and secures this lock actually in the door itself why do they include this well one for completeness naturally but also if you do have a rig a practice rig where you put these locks in you still need a screw to fix these in with and therefore 
this comes with it. After all, this BKS Eurosunder almost certainly would have come with one of these in the pack, so why not include it? Another thing which you might notice is that there are pinning tweezers. They look like normal tweezers here. They are stainless. But look here, they have a little scallop out of the tip so you can grip those pins. What pins? Well, look here, you get a whole little box of pins and springs and spare grub screws so that you can re-pin this up in different configurations. Now, I have already prepared, and these are all from that little box. So imagine that this comes with whatever's in here plus this. And just look at the range of stuff you get. So, first of all, you get a range of key pins, and they are color-coded, as you can see, of different lengths. This means that you can change the uh, bitting to be more or less extreme as you wish. However, it may or may not work with a key depending on how you pin it up naturally. Um, but yeah, you get a, a nice big range of key pins. You can see even more down there. Then you have some spare things like spools. So if you want to add more spools to your lock, you can. Really nice serrated pins, very sharp. Can you see how sharp those serrations are? Lovely. You get more of these little T pins. And then when I first opened this, I almost skipped over it. I've not seen this in a kit before. Look at that. This is hollow, why? It's so you can make a sort of drunken spool, a two part pin. This little T-pin, which could be used on its own quite nicely, can go inside. And that means that when this is picked, it can separate out um, in the lock, leaving this sort of trapped at the shear line and this part can go up. You know, it's, it's a really nice kind of uh, thing I've not seen before in a kit. I've never seen a, a two part pin in a kit before. And of course it comes with spare springs, a couple of spare springs, a couple of spare, uh, grub screws just in case you get overexcited and um, you know fling them over the side of a boat or something I don't know if you're gutting a lock on the side of a boat that might be um, a thing you need but yeah a really nice range and you get a, quite a number of them there um, definitely enough to keep you going for quite some time so it's clear that this is a premium very well made very well thought out piece of kit and at the moment this is going for sale on the Multipick website for €79.90, Euros and 90 cents, uh, which is about £70.40 at the moment, um, or $91. US dollars. Of course, those prices will vary as time goes on. Um, so you are getting a, you know, a really premium piece of equipment for that, as you can see. So please let me know what you think in the comments. I'm very impressed with this. I think that it's um, it's clear this is a, a beautifully well thought out, well made uh, uh, kit with plenty of challenge in there in a beautiful packaging. Um, but I'd like to know your thoughts. What do you think? Have you um, used this before? Have you, have you had one in the past? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. All right. Well, I all hope you enjoyed watching that review. I enjoyed doing it and I'll see you all next time.